Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KipAdger.com, here to explain to you why 86 Creedmoor is not your grandma's 338 Federal. First off, in all fairness, if your grandma shoots 338 Federal, good honor, I don't want to fight her. But a lot of misconceptions with respect to 86 Creedmoor and people misunderstanding where it differs and the importance differences between 338 Federal. Let's go ahead and start this party with the biggest difference being the case. Rather than 338 Federal, 86 Creedmoor, we're starting with that 65 Creedmoor, cutting it down, necking it up to 338. What does that do for us? It allows us to put big, heavy subsonic loads in it that are gonna fit in our magazines. Otherwise, what happens is basically case dimensions. 86 Creedmoor is about 1.7 inches, whereas the 338 Federal, about two inches. So if you have a really heavy projectile push back in there, the ogive ends up being back inside the brass. This is not good, we don't want that. So consequently, 86 Creedmoor addresses that problem and alleviates it, letting us load really heavy subsonic rounds into the case. Now we actually have a round that's capable of fitting into our AR-10 magazines, SR-25s. Maybe you have a Tika, if you end up swapping out the barrel, pretty much all of your standard 308 magazines this round is going to fit into and function from. Awesome. In addition to that, we're not changing out the bolt face or anything like that. Literally, say in an AR platform, we're swapping a barrel. Again, going back to the idea of 300 blackout, this is basically the big brother. All that magazine compatibility, bolt compatibility, swapping barrels. Going into kind of the why, again, there's no magic bullet, there's no free lunch. What 86 Creedmoor does is blur that line between kind of that perfect combination of subsonic as well as supersonic performance. Whereas historically, we kind of get one or the other, and if we dip into one, the other is definitely not very good. Take for example, subsonic 308. Doesn't really work. Just the way the bullet's designed, especially if you try and put something big and heavy in there, it doesn't perform. And pretty much all your barrels are slow, so they're not gonna stabilize that. 86 Creedmoor is addressing all of this. With respect to barrels, 86 Creedmoor is looking to do something specific. One, optimize for short barrels, 12 and a half inches. Why is that important? Well. If you've ever carried like a 22 or 24 inch barreled rifle into the woods in pursuit of game, you will appreciate this. Let alone if you put a silencer on the end of a aforementioned barrel. In addition to that, ballistically, we're getting really good terminal ballistics with this out of this short barrel. Conversely, those of you that love your 338 Federal, per Sammy, all the data and everything is coming from a 24 inch, one in 10 twist. Well, this performs much shorter, 12 and a half inches, and our twist rate is a lot faster. 338 Federal, it can't stabilize big, heavy bullets. It's not going, it's not twisting fast enough. So with respect to that, right now between Q and Hornady, they're nailing down kind of that sweet spot with respect to barrel twist. Anywhere from one in three to one in five which is going to twist really fast, stabilizing your heavy bullets. What that means, they're gonna be accurate, and at the same time, giving you good supersonic performance with your lighter bullets as well. So you're gonna kind of find that sweet spot somewhere in there, and you're gonna get great performance, whether it's sub or supersonic. With respect to that fast twist rate, we want good terminal performance, right? So we only have about 12 and a half inches to work with. What that means is we're not gonna get as much muzzle velocity out of this, but there's an upside. Fast twist rate. What that will give us ultimately is anywhere from five to 10% more rotational kinetic energy. So going back to your 338 Federal out of your 24 inch barrel with a one in 10 twist. Think about hitting something organic about 10 inches deep. Well, as that bullet's traveling through, it will make one rotation while traveling that 10 inches. Conversely, say something with a one and three twist, you're gonna end up with three times more rotations 
potential soft tissue damage moving that same 10 inches. Pretty cool. One of the other beautiful things about this cartridge is while it is absolutely optimized for that 12 and a half inch barrel, keeping your overall package short, even if you throw a silencer on there, still nice and short package, but it works on both gas guns as well as bolt guns. Subsonic through a bolt gun, it's like 22 suppressed quiet, really, really quiet. But it also functions really well and pretty quiet, really pleasant to shoot suppressed through a gas gun. Big picture though, it functions. Locks back on your empty magazine, no issues with reliability. That's huge. And in addition to that, we have this nice small package. Whether it's gonna be a rifle or a pistol, SB Tactical braces, whether it's on a gas gun or soon to be on the fix, which is gonna give you a bolt action pistol. Amazing performance, really small package. Is 86 Creedmoor the best? Yes. Is 338 Federal the best? Yes. Are there better cartridges? Yes. It really comes down to applied application. You know what? If you're gonna go out and shoot supersonic, 338 Federal will probably treat you very well, perform better for you than 308, for example. But if you wanted the ability to shoot subsonic as well as supersonic out of a small package, to include magazine compatibility, literally changing a barrel out, 86 Creedmoor, it's where it's at. Really good performance. And while I appreciate that it's not this super long range performing round, most people aren't super long range performing shooters. At the end of the day, some of my buddies, they've dropped elk at over 1100 yards, broke that shot, then fell down. Most people, the layman hunter, if you're honest with yourself, most of your shots are anywhere from about 50 to 200, 300 yards. This will perform wonderfully for you at those ranges. Personally, most of the places I hunt, lucky to get 100 yards because chances are it's a clear cut in the forest. It's thick. Most people don't take long shots. This will perform really well for you. Again, super sub. Really easy to hike this thing through the woods. Great cartridge coming out. So, when can you expect it? 2019. When can you buy it? 2019. When's my next birthday? 2019. 2019 is gonna be a banner year, obviously. But when it comes out, it's gonna be rad and it's gonna breathe new life into the 338, I think. 338 Federal, noble attempt, wasn't really adopted. I think this has legs to actually do a lot for the industry and a lot of usability at the end of the day. What is it gonna be called? Possibly 86 Creedmoor, 338 Creedmoor, 338 Blackout, maybe 86 Blackout. Wheel of Fate spinning, we'll see where it lands. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Sir